Let's seal the breakfast and plus TV Africa and uh, we're heading straight to the second conversation where we will be talking about uh, the fact that the president have announced that there should be free ride for passengers, I mean trained passengers across the entire federation. But unfortunately that didn't happen and that's supposed to be a Christmas package or a part of way of celebrating in the season, the spirit of giving and taking. We do have the president general of Railway, uh, Railway Union uh, Workers Innocent Ajiji this morning. Morning, Mr. Ajiji. Yeah, good morning. <clears throat> Thanks for joining us. And uh, l let's start with, you know, confirming uh, that there, you know, the, uh, there were, of course, tickets sold during the Christmas uh, um, holidays. Um, is this verified and is this true that tickets were sold and from according to reports even at higher prices? Okay, thank you very much. Um, it will interest you to know <clears throat> that the federal government has made it that uh, there should be a free train ride from 24th December to 2nd January. Yes, and uh, our trains are free both on the standard gauge and the narrow gauge. But however, <clears throat> we discovered that, uh, you know, hoodlums and uh, pro one miners will never stop perpetrating their act. So um, we were told that, you know, if you don't, the normal procedures for booking of tickets are done, but it is free of charge. You don't pay for it. So people who think are smart will normally book. And uh, when they book, they will have like two, three, four, five tickets with them. And when passenger that is not aware that there are three train rides comes around, they will cajole him by selling, telling him there is no space in the train and the train will soon move. And uh, if you want to join the train, you can buy this from us. And trust me, these people are not our staff. These are people that are very conversant with the way we book, uh, our tickets have been booked. So, and it will interest you to know that Railway management are not the people manning the affairs of sales of ticket. There's a company that is contracted into doing that. And so tickets are bought online. So those who are conversant with the way you book online are normally the people that are doing this act. And trust me, as I talk to you, arrest was made in Abuja, uh, which of course uh, I, I'm yet to confirm how many people were arrested, but they are not railway staff. Yeah. Okay, can, can you put us through, you know, what the process is for getting a ticket? For those who don't get it online, if you walk into the train station, um, there is yeah. a place for, get, for getting tickets, right? Yes. Okay, so now that the tickets are meant to, or the rides are meant to be free, it, what was it meant to, what was meant to be the process? You simply walk straight to the train and take a seat. No, no. You walk to the, if you get to the station, you go to the ticket booking office. If you could not buy online, you buy, you get it from the ticket uh, office as usual. Just like you go and pay before you ride on the train. So, and you will, you'll be given a ticket. And on the ticket, it is written free. Okay. And, and so, so, and so what you're saying is that there's people who purchase tickets online and yes. unsuspected Nigerians that walk to the train station. Um, still did go to the ticketing, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, part, mm. but were told that there were no tickets, but they can instead buy from other persons. Sorry, there's a little crack. I didn't get your last few words. This is what I'm asking. So if I walk to the train station, I get yeah. to the ticketing booth. Um, yeah. I meant to get a free ticket from there, maybe from Abuja to Kaduna. Yeah. All right. But what you're saying now is if I walked there, um, before I got there, maybe someone could have approached me and said that the tickets are finished, but you can get a ticket for a certain amount of money. That's what they do. That's what they do. So, so, so there's persons that are hovering around the train station. Is that what you're saying? Approaching passengers and telling them that tickets are finished, but they can buy? You are very correct. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so these persons, and I'm helping you paint a picture. So these persons who, you know, fell victim didn't make it to the ticketing booths to get a ticket. Sorry, please. I didn't get that. I'm saying, are you saying that the persons who fell victim 
to these criminals didn't make it all the way to the ticketing booth to get a ticket before they were scammed? Well, you know, because I am not in the station there, I cannot uh, fully answer whether they were at the ticketing booth and they didn't get ticket before they were, they were scammed. But uh, the railway station is normally a place that you have a lot of people going about. And so you wouldn't even know the difference of a railway staff from the one that is not a staff. But if you are smart enough, smart uh, railway workers that sell tickets are always on uniform with our badge, inscripted railway workers. So if you are smart, you are not supposed to be scammed. Then if you are current, information is all over the news that our tickets are free from 24th to 2nd of January or 4th of January or so. I'm not too sure about when it will end. So you are not supposed to allow anybody to scam you or you are not supposed to pay before you obtain any ticket. Okay, so and even if you pay, the ticket, it is clearly written on the ticket that free. Free ticket, it is written. So why would you pay and then receiving a free ticket and then you still allow yourself to be cheated? Okay, so now that you have mentioned that these persons who are involved in this fraudulent act have been arrested, uh, tickets still free and can uh, passengers, you know, go ahead to board this train uh, across without for any without paying any amount of money. Yes, they are not supposed to pay. I'm saying what, what would be the situation now? What is the, because you mentioned that some persons have been arrested. And I'm asking, yeah. so uh, now that these persons have been arrested, have you put in measures in place to ensure that uh, these elements who go around or these persons who parade mm -hmm. themselves uh, defrauding mm -hmm. passengers uh, will mm -hmm. no longer come? The same thing that happened would not happen and that uh, people are free to actually go ahead and take that ride for free. Uh, you see, when you get to our station, you, there, there are uh, um, um, announcements being made even at the, where the person, at the waiting room and even inside the train. You will, the, 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 our public relations officers are enlightening passengers that our train services are free. Do not allow anybody to collect money from you. So that is for those who care to listen, but some passengers who are desperate will not care to wait or will not be patient enough to wait for the next train shoot. Maybe uh, they miss the first train or the train they intend to follow. So that's why they will mostly be getting themselves scammed by this kind of fraudulent people. So I'm, I'm just saying that now that uh, today is the 27th, if I'm not mistaken, um, do we expect that this will not have uh, repeat itself again? Will this uh, scenario where you have people going around the train station to defraud passengers who are trying to board, uh, you know, taking them away from, uh, you know, the free ride and extorting them of their monies. Have you put measures in place to ensure that this doesn't happen? And can people go ahead now and board the free train? Yes, the measures are put in place by the management of railway to ensure that people are not being cheated. And that's why announcements are made everywhere. Well, so for people to know. Yeah. And so the normal train moves are scheduled. The timetable still remains the same. Oh, Mr. So, Mr. Ajiji, just to clarify, the reports, the reports yeah. and, and the, the persons who fell victims, uh, you know, a few of them, there's a person called uh, Deji at Desogon, it says here that um, uh, the tickets were not free, that the train uh, tickets at the Idu train station in Abuja were sold as high as 12,000 naira for Nigerians. And it doesn't in any way state that these tickets were bought from random individuals it says that they were bought you know at the train station those those tickets are not bought from our ticket booth and they cannot be bought from online so if any passenger says he bought ticket for twelve thousand naira from idu to kaduna he he, he was uh, uh, he has allowed himself to be scammed by 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 people that are uh, are not even railway workers because no ticket is expected to be sold within this period of time yeah, but isn't there a way of verifying that the ticket was actually purchased from the boot? If you take a ticket from, it's just like getting on an airplane. You know, there's yeah. different places that you, you verify um, your ticket. 
um, from yes. when you purchase the ticket to where you check in your luggage and, and the likes before you even, Board. Uh, when they call for boarding, you know, you, there's a, a part where they verify your tickets. And then just before you get on the airplane, there's also a final check over there. Yes. You know, so can I simply just take a ticket that maybe isn't stamped or maybe isn't, you know, um, you know, that wasn't bought at the boot? Isn't there a way that it can be verified that it was actually collected from the ticketing boot? Uh, uh, well, no, they, they, there's no way it can be verified because when you are selling a ticket, they normally have your name there. And so when you come with the ticket and it tallies with the ID card you are holding, the name tallies with the ID card you are holding, you are free to pass. It yeah, cannot but, be but if I, if I buy, if I buy a ticket from, if I buy a ticket from a different person, that's, yes. it should carry a different name, don't you think? And honestly, um, I, I can't imagine how they did the magic. Because your name was tally with the ticket, the name on the ID card. So I wonder how they could buy tickets and then still sell for passengers, and the passengers will still use it to travel. But I, I, I Mr. Mr. Judy, doesn't that doesn't that seem impossible? Because you, now you're saying you wonder how they do it, but doesn't it seem impossible that the tickets were bought from random Nigerians and they were able to manipulate the names to fit into the ID card of whoever it is that is buying it? Because if I take a, if I if I pay you ten thousand naira for a ticket. What time do you have to immediately impute my name on that ticket? The, uh, mm. A name that, you know, co um, uh, um, uh, uh, is the uh, same with the name on my ID card. What time do you have mm. to do that? So, Mr. Ajiji, doesn't it seem like it, it may be these tickets were bought from the ticketing booth? It's, it's, it's not uh, possible for that to be obtained from the ticketing booth. But I am sure those that are doing that must have been doing it with already uh, having an ID card with them that they have fabricated. That is why it costs them or their passengers to no. pay as you much as possible. Can you understand? Them. Because we need to, we need to wrap up. But can you understand what I'm asking? Even if you I have a fake, it, even yeah. if you have a fake ID card, if I approach yeah. you at the, at the train station and tell you that I need a ticket and you sell that ticket to me for 12,000 Naira, that ticket you're selling to me very likely wouldn't have my name. And it will have a different name. It will have the name of the person who purchased the ticket. So at what and point, so at what point, point do you then do you change the name? You know, and, and so oh. is it possible that if, you, if we want to assume that there are criminal elements hanging around the train yeah. station, are they working hand in hand with people who sell tickets at the ticketing booth? Or do these tickets come without names on them? Is that no. what we're saying? You can you can purchase a ticket without names. No, the, the, the ticket comes with names. And I, I want to assure you that they can buy online ahead of time, print ID card, or maybe they must have printed ID card with the name they want to purchase the ticket with. But how do they and know the name? Sorry? How do they know the name of the passenger who is going to approach them and, they, you know, seek a they, ticket? They pass, they, you, you trust Nigerians. The passenger can decide to travel with a name that does not belong to him. Even in the airport, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Where you see a passenger taking another person's ticket, or maybe taking a ticket that it is not his actual name that is on the ticket, provided he has a means of identification and then the means of identification comes with the ticket. Mr. Ajiri, this doesn't, you know, really add up. But, you know, we're out of time, and we hope that we can bring you back to continue this conversation. Uh, but thank you anyway for your time this morning, and we wish you a very interesting uh, Christmas and New Year celebration. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Um, this is where we, of course, will be wrapping up the conversation. A lot of things don't add up with that explanation, you know, about criminal elements, uh, mm. you know, selling, because there's no way. I mean, looking at I'm the time know, factor, that yeah. I'm, I'm going to be at a train station at a particular time. Even if you're going to fake it. Mm. You know, you cannot fake the ID card that I'm bringing, you know, it, so it just doesn't add up. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for staying with us. We always will wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And we hope that you enjoy, you know, the rest of the, the celebration and the season along with your family and friends. Um, if you missed out on any part of the conversation. It's all right to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Plus TV Africa. And do subscribe to our YouTube channels at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Boko. Do have yourself a happy holiday. And I am Osao Gi of Wawan.